All right, so this is my donor bike that I've got. Uh, I got this off Facebook Marketplace, a pretty good deal here. So this is going to be the starting point for my electric build. I've got here in these two boxes, I've got the entire kit from Electroco and Company. Uh, I just went with the uh, 70H motor, which is in this box here. Everything's pre-wired. I've been going through, looking at all the connectors and seeing if they look like they're uh, potted pretty well and covered up. So far, everything looks really good, so I think the kit is looking good from these guys. But I went ahead and got the full kit, the whole kit and uh, caboodle from them. So I've got the battery, charger, uh, throttle tubes. This is the controller for the display. Yeah, so I just went ahead and got the whole nine yards for my first build here. So donor bike is a, uh, I think it was, what year is it here? 2017 CRF 450 RX with a kickstand, so that, that's fine. It's a woods bike. Uh, you can definitely tell it's been kind of ridden hard and put up wet, but it's okay. Uh, we're going to tear it down. The uh, I can feel a lot of the bearings probably need re-greased. There's something going on with the front brake. It's kind of dragging, and if you you feel the front brake, there's no play in it at all. There's no give. So I think it almost feels like it's uh, got too much fluid in it. I don't know, but I'll, I'll take it apart and tear it apart and look at it. Uh, otherwise, it's really not in bad shape. I think all the bearings need re-greased. Maybe, maybe one or two in the swing arm need replaced. I don't know, but um, I think it's going to be a good, a good foundation to build build off of and I got it really cheap so that's the biggest thing you know I got a, I got a good price on it so so first things first we're probably gonna have to tear this guy apart do some cleaning on it uh, clean up my garage because I can't stand how filthy my garage is right now and then uh, we're gonna put the sprocket on the motor first and then get it in the motor in the frame here and see if we can start positioning it because we got to get it in line with the, the rear sprocket but also get it as close to where it was at from the fact you know the with the motor in it we got to get it as close to that as possible and then we got to try to mock up some uh, mounts for it so what i would like to do is use a 3d scanner scan the frame in so i can get the mounting points in and then play around with it mock up some uh, mounts with the 3d printer and then send those files off once i get it dialed in how i want it send it in to a company and get them to uh, machine them out of aluminum for me uh, and then use that. So that's kind of my initial game plan. We'll see how it goes. I'm sure it'll change, but we'll see, we'll see how it goes. So, so let's go ahead and get started.